travel today. Hey, I'm Wendy Mack. It's Draw Together. It's Friday. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Woo! How's everybody doing? It's Friday. We draw together. Hey. Hi. Hello. I'm Wendy. What's your name? Nice to see you. Hey, ah, uh, well, I'm here with my art assistant, Caroline. Hi, art assistant, Caroline. And Suso. <laughs> Where are you? All over the world. And who are you? I knew I recognized you. Great to see you again. So happy you're in class. Wow, we have people from all over joining us today. We have people who are in, let's see, kids in Cordoba, Argentina, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Veracruz, Mexico, Saskatoon, Canada, Chatham, New Jersey. Wow, we are all over the world, but here we are right now, drawing together. Thanks so much for coming to class today. I'm really, really happy to see you. All right, so we are in our home studios. You're in your home studio, I'm in my home studio, and we're here together. So what do we have in our home studios? Quick supply check, a pen or a pencil, you thought I'd forget. Hello. Just making sure. Some paints or markers or colored pencils. Anything with color is fine. And some paper. That's it. That's all we need. And even if you just have a piece of paper and a pen, that's great too. Okay. So let's see. Does everybody have everything? Show of hands. Everybody ready to go? Hands up. Looks good. Okay, great. So we've been doing travel all week. Today is no different. It's our last day on Friday. We're gonna do a warm up. We've done some fast travel and we've done some slow travel. So we thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of warm up around fast and slow speeds. Come on over here. Let's start to warm up. All right, so let's grab our pencils or our pen. And here is our paper. We can leave it this direction. Remember this is called portrait when it's up and down like this and we're gonna do some fast and slow drawing today when we travel sometimes we go fast sometimes we go slow so let's first start with a little bit of slow drawing imagine that we are walking 
with our pencil. Boom, boom. Let's just start making a kind of boom, slow wavy line. Boom, boom, boom. That's kind of a fast walk. Let's try right underneath. Let's try a walk even slower. Slow walk. Go right under that line that we just did. And let's do it slow. Right underneath. You don't want to touch that line. You want to go right under. We're going slower. This is like kind of like a, a leisurely stroll through the park. You know when you're kind of hanging out, maybe with your best friend and taking a walk and just happy to be together? Going slow. Now let's try right underneath there. Let's do one, but let's see if we can crawl. Oh my gosh, we might be here a while. This is really slow. Let's see how slow we can go. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can go any slower. Is your pencil even moving? I can't even tell if it's moving. We're going so slow. Barely moving at all. This is slow. Sometimes it's hard to make slow lines. It's hard to kind of control our hands like that. But there's no mistakes. If you start speeding up a little bit, that's okay too. Making slow marks. Slow. Oops, I touched a line. That's okay. That happens. Oop. And, ah, that felt good. Now let's see. What if we were on a bicycle? We go a little faster. And we'd make a loopy line. Kind of like a wheels going around and around and around and around. Can you make a bicycle loopy line like that? How about underneath that? We go a little faster. Fast. You're pedaling faster. Pedaling faster. 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 Let's go right underneath that. And we go faster. And we're going faster. And we're going faster. And we're going faster. And we're going faster. And underneath that. Faster, faster, faster. As fast as you can pedal. 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 Fast, 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 fast. Woo! I'm tired. It's exhausting. Let's do one more. Let's try, remember we drew earlier, we did, what did we do? We drew a bike this week, and we also did a rocket ship. How would a rocket ship go? It would start at the bottom. When a rocket ship starts, it kind of gathers a bunch of energy, so it goes kind of, it's kind of slow, and then what happens? <laughs> goes slow. <laughs> goes slow, how fast? <laughs> Let's see, if we made it right here, then how fast can you draw a line? How fast? Ready, let's start all the way at the bottom. And when I say go, we're gonna go as fast as we can to the top. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I didn't even see your pencil move, it went so fast. It so fast. Okay, let's do one more. We went fast, now let's bring it back down a little bit. And let's try, imagine that we are on a turtle's back and we're just gonna go cool. We're just walking along. It's actually a pretty fast turtle, I think. A turtle would go kind of more like, let's try that again. If you were on a turtle's back, boom, boom, what would that feel like? Boom. Maybe kind of like that, that slow. What would it sound like? Can you make the sound? Boom, boom. Yeah, <laughs> I love the sound you're making. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> that felt good. How'd that feel? Can I see your lines? So many fast and slow lines. Oh, so many different shapes. And I can almost hear the sounds you were making when I'm looking at that. Ah, oh, great job. So fun. When we draw, sometimes we draw fast with a lot of energy, and sometimes we draw slow. There's also a lot of energy there, but it's slow. So we're gonna do both today, okay? Come on over here, let's see. Well, this week we did travel, right? We did, what did we do? Does anybody remember? Yeah, we started with a bike, and then we went to space on a, rocket yes and then we went and we walked and traveled on our own outside to 
look at a plant and then we went yesterday what did we do i don't remember globe 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 i don't remember globe 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 submarine under the sea today we're trying to figure out what should we do what would be a fun way to travel that we haven't drawn yet that would be different so we opened up the quest lines Just getting the magic request line picture frame situation going here. Let's see who sent in a request. Ding, 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 ding. I wanna do a race car because it's fast. <gasps> fast. My name's Anderson. I'm five years old. I wanna do a race car because they're fast. <laughs> I'm getting that there's a theme here. I wonder what he wants. I want to be a rook. Uh, I want to teach me how to draw a racing car. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the technical sound that a race car makes after it's gone very fast. We will be drawing that, Luke. Yes, we will. Luke and Anderson and oops, sorry, and Anderson and Shelby. We are so excited to draw a race car with you. Okay, so let's get out what we'll need, which is a new piece of paper, or you know what I'm gonna do? Because we don't need to reference this, I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm gonna use the back to save paper. And I'm going to turn this around sideways. Got a pencil and I've got some colors. Y'all set? You have the same? Got it all set up? All right, come on over here. Let's draw our race car. Today we are going to draw a fast traveling race car by request. All right, who's ready? Everybody ready? All right, let's start by making I'm gonna use a pencil, but you can use a pen if you want. You can go straight to paints or pen or markers, whatever you like. I'm first I'm gonna draw a big circle. This is kind of at the bottom, because we're gonna put the race car at the bottom of the page. We'll do some other stuff up here. So we'll do one circle, and then I'm gonna draw another circle, teeny bit smaller, just a little smaller. It could be the same size. It could even be bigger, whatever you want. But another circle, right like that. Who knows what those are? Yes, that's right, they're eyeballs. This is actually a class about drawing smiley faces. Just kidding. Yeah, you were right. These are wheels, these are tires, race car tires. <laughs> <coughs> Assistant Caroline covered her mouth with her arm and will wash her hands after she coughs, like we all do. So then I drew a line that connects those two circles. Did you do that? All right. Now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna just put it right here and just kind of like draw the line straight through there if you want. Go here and then it's gonna go whoop up, a swoopy line using our arm up. Can you see the race car is kind of starting to unfold before our eyes? And I'm going to draw this line right here. All right, you got that? I'm going to take this here and right in between these lines here, I'm going to make another swoopy line. This one is like a U, just like that. Got that? Swoop. And then I'm gonna make another swoopy line the other direction. This one's gonna go swoop, down like that, in front. And I'm gonna connect it like that. All right, let's look. How's yours looking? Is that good? Let me see yours. Can see how it's going? Oh yeah, you can keep drawing if you don't want to show, that's fine. But those of you who are showing me, that's great. I can see it. you're kind of going your own way too, but great, it looks like you're, you're feeling good about it. Okay, let's keep going. 
So here's the back of our car and here's the front of our car. Race cars have kind of like the special thing on the back that make them go extra fast. Does anybody know what this is called? Back of a race car? This is called the fin. The fin. I wonder if submarines have fins too. I think they do. So I guess if things want to travel far and fast, it's good to have fins. Maybe we should all put on some fins when we want to travel. All right. Now, it's this thing, this is in a race car, I'm kind of going to put this thing that kind of go, that's like kind of protects the top here and also is kind of a backrest so somebody can be in it because you'd want to have somebody in it right put that right there that's so if you're sitting right here you can kind of lean against it how's that looking i think it's looking pretty racy pretty racy now let's see sometimes you want to race at night so let's put on a headlight glowing glowing headlight and sometimes what happens when you hear a car like vroom, vroom, pa, it backfires a little bit. You need an exhaust pipe for that in the back. Okay. Now, I think we need somebody to be driving this race car. What do you think? Should we put somebody in here? Yeah? Should we put you in here? Well, hopefully, let's see, I was gonna put a, I was gonna put you in here, but I still wanna do that, but I'm just realizing, what should we wear while driving a race car? Well, friends, if we're driving a race car, we better get ready to be, to be safe to draw together in a race car. <sighs> We're gonna draw you with a helmet on. I lost my pencil. Keep going with this one. Come on. This is, this is just called, it's called character-driven drawing. It's if you're a real, you know, illust professional illustrator artist, you actually wear the clothes of the character. This is, this is how we work. They're doing, yeah. So feel free at home to uh, put on your race car Helmet. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a circle right here, like that. The circle right there. So this is the helmet that goes right there. Helmet has one of those, and I'm gonna make like kind of a a pie. I'm gonna cut a piece of the pie out like this. Shade that in a little bit. Do you see how this is like the helmet? Um, it goes all the way around and this is the visor. I'm gonna make a line here. I'm gonna make a line here. And that, my friends, that's you driving a race car. What else do we need? We need a steering wheel. And also I think we need a swoop here and a swoop here because you definitely need to hold on to that steering wheel. How's that looking? Oh, one last thing. If you need to see backwards, we can make a little line right here. We can give you a, what's that? Rear view mirror. How's that looking? Oh, I love it. Let's make some um, cool rims, hubcaps. Yes, that's pretty cool. Let's see yours. Yeah, good job. A really key important part to race car drawing um, is once you have the body and the structure of the vehicle is to customize it to your own kind of racing persona. I call myself Speedy McSpeedy. That's my race car name. Do you have a race car name? No? Yes, you do. You can just take the word speedy and add it onto your name. I'm Speedy Wendy McSweetie. 
You are. Nice to meet you. So good to meet you. You're so fast. Other thing is we have to customize our vehicles, our race cars, to be for us, right? So let's get out some colors and let's start making these race cars our own. All right, so I am gonna use paint. You can use markers, or you can use pencils, any color you want. If you don't have a color and you just wanna use a pen or pencil, or even if that's just what you feel like, that's great too, whatever you want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this whole car. I think I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna make it orange, because orange to me is fast. Or should I make it blue? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna make it orange. Maybe blue, orange, okay. Just gonna color it all in. So I mix some water with my watercolor paints, and then I am just going to quickly fill all this in. Painting and coloring um, is so fun and relaxing. I'm painting a little bit fast here. You might be wanting wanting to paint slower at home. That's wonderful. You should just. Paint at your own pace. We talked about speed before, and um, sometimes it feels good to draw fast and scribbly. Sometimes it feels good to draw slow and carefully. However you feel like drawing is just the right way for you to draw today. Sometimes when we're drawing something that's fast, like this race car is really fast, it's, uh, it's kind of silly because we draw it slowly, even though it goes really fast. So we've been taking our time drawing this, but we'll do some of those fast kind of rocket ship lines and stuff later to show how fast it's going. Now I'm gonna put some darker color here into these tires. How about you, how's yours going? How's your color going? Also, if you wanna do some just details around, um, if you just wanna draw some like clouds in the sky or you wanna just make some other round shapes, especially for the littler kids out there, you could just draw those speedy shapes we were doing earlier again and again, and that's really fun too. There's no right or wrong way to be doing this right now. It's all whatever is fun for you. All right, I used kind of a brighter orange here on the tail, or the wing, it's called. Wing, I think I called it a fin earlier. Clearly, I am not the race car driver expert I purported to be, but you know, we're all just doing our best. I'm learning a lot. This is something that I love about drawing something that somebody has suggested, like the three cool kids who suggested this race car. Actually, let's make this blue. I started orange, but I'm gonna just move into blue. So I'm gonna just grab some blue, and it might get a little bit muddy when I mix it up, but that's okay. Um, you know, to tell you the truth, I have to come clean. I don't know a darn thing about race cars, but I love to draw. And when I draw something that I've never drawn before, I get to learn how to do it. And then I get to learn all about the different parts of the car and how it works. Whatever it is, I get to learn about the thing I'm drawing. Oh, we forgot something for the wheels here. Let's make some, I'm gonna use just the color that you didn't paint this on. Look at those. These are the hubcaps. Anybody else making sounds whenever they draw and paint? Or am, or am I the only one? That's fine. I feel comfortable with it. That's cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of red here. Red for the helmet. What color is my helmet? Kind of a ready orange. Oh, kind of a ready orange. Okay, I'm gonna try and do that here. And maybe I'll wear a green racing suit. Racing suit's pretty important. Yeah. 
And I remember how you gotta have your, your shades on to protect you because all those bugs are flying at you because you're going so fast. We're gonna color this in here like this. This is the part of the helmet that's the shades. All right, let's see, how's it looking? Um, so remember, we want to customize. I am um, Speedy McSpeedy. That's my race car name. That's me. And but you know what? Even though that's my race car name, I want to name this car. And since I'm so excited to be in class with all of you, and we are all in Draw Together Together, I'm going to call this the Draw Together car. You can call yours whatever you want. I'm going to put a little circle on it right here. And I'm going to put a D for draw and a T for together. I'm gonna put it on my little helmet too. Draw together. Because this race car would be going nowhere without all of you. We are all in this race car together. Speeding along, speeding along. All right, let's do a quick check in and we got a couple more things to do. Let's see. Ready, kind of see yours real fast. We'll do just where you're at. Yes, so many colors. Oh, so much more fun stuff to do too. I can see there's a lot. You can keep it really simple or there's so many more things you can add to it, right? Let's add one more thing, okay? And then and then we'll just do a little show and tell, okay? So I'm gonna add on to mine here. If this is going real fast. What do we put on something that goes so fast? Whoosh. Oh, just some flames. Flames. And then for the tires, because they go around so fast, I kind of want to make, make them look like they're going real fast. So this is kind of a trick that you can do. We've been going pretty slow with this, but since it goes really fast, we want to add in some fast lines to show how fast it's going. Right? You wanna do that with me? Let's put our pencil or our pen down right on the tire. And when I say go, we're gonna make the fastest whirling tires you've ever done in your life. Ready, one, two, three, go. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Speed, 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 go, 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 go. It's as fast as it can go, it's as fast as it can go. go. Stop. That's going really fast. Let's do the front tire. Ready, put her down and go. And stop. Oh, that's pretty cool. It does look like it's going fast. And now let's do some of those fast rocket lines off the back. Because it's going this way, so it's like fast rocket lines. And remember how we always make that line to show that it's there's a um, the ground that it's sitting on the ground. It's called the horizon line, like that. And then we can make some clouds here if we want. You can do this, you can do whatever you want with yours. I'm gonna put a couple clouds, but you know, you can put yours in your, you know, wherever you live, in your town or your city. You could put your race car on a racetrack. You could put your race car going through the desert on an exciting voyage. Your race car can go as fast as you want and it can also go wherever you want it to go. All right, ready to, to, can we show? Can I see, can we share? Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, sorry, I'm, I'm not actually drawing a race car anymore, so I'm gonna take off my race car helmet. I'm getting back into my art showing. Better, ready? I would love to see if you want to share. Ready? We'll share. One, two, three. Let's see. <gasps> yes! Coolest, most fun traveling race cars I've ever seen. It looks like you had so much fun drawing your race car. And you were paying really close attention, but you also did your own thing sometimes. You had a lot of color in there, and some people got a lot of shading in there. So many different kinds of race cars. I love those race cars 
all over the world and everybody drew them together. I think we should give ourselves a round of applause, kind of like at the end of a race. Good job, good job. That was really fun. Well, I'm gonna keep drawing my race car. You can keep working on yours. Uh, after class, you can keep going, add the stuff in the background, and then if you wanna take a picture and share it with everybody else, you can put it up on Instagram and you can hashtag it with draw together. We all cannot wait to see your race car. Uh, let's see, and a couple other things. Um, well, one person I just wanted to give a special shout out to is Carson Ellis, who has been leading um, the Quarantine Art Club. And so this is our last day of Quarantine Art Club. It's been so much fun. If you wanna head over to Instagram um, at Carson Ellis, there is so many great assignments over there. So check her out and yay, Carson Ellis. Thanks for doing all you do. Yay, Carson Ellis. Uh, so you can do some of that this weekend and I'll also be posting a homework assignment because everybody loves homework. A drawing homework assignment tomorrow if you wanna draw more over the weekend. And we will be back next week uh, to draw together on Monday at 10 a.m. in San Francisco time, wherever you are. Can't wait to see you. Go to YouTube, uh, 